Hi everybody, this is Alex Bennett and this is our news break. And here I am, Alex Bennett. Let's take a look at the headlines for today. President Donald Trump has unveiled his long-awaited plan for reducing drug prices after more than a year of bold promises to tackle pharmacy costs that are squeezing millions of Americans. But the strategy to be outlined, or was to be outlined in the speech on Friday, it hasn't happened when we're recording this, but I'm assuming that it has, and this is what went into it. It will not include uh, a Trump campaign pledge to use the massive buying power of the federal government's Medicare program to directly negotiate lower drug prices for seniors. We would be doing this already if it weren't for your Congress, who when they passed Medicare Part D did not include negotiating with the uh, pharmacies, in, uh, pharmaceutical companies. In fact, it forbid Medicare from doing so. And I guess that's still going to hold true. So how are those prices going to go down? Israeli forces unleashed a heavy bombardment against Iranian military installations in Syria and what was called a retaliation for an Iranian rocket barrage on its positions in the occupied Golan Heights, the most serious military confrontation between the bitter two rivals in, well, to date, in history. Never happened like this before. Might it have something to do with Donald Trump pulling out of the Iranian deal? Me think so, okay? But that's just my opinion. I'm, I'm just reading this shit. Fox News says a retired Air Force general who called Senator John McCain Songbird John for allegedly providing information to the North Vietnamese while he was a prisoner of war will not be invited back. The idea that McCain gave up information during the war was judged false years ago by PolitiFact, but business, uh, Fox Business Network guest Tom McInerney spread the story as a guest on Thursday. Fox host Charles Payne later apologized for not correcting him on the air. Uh, also on Thursday, in an act of real good taste, the wh a White House official, doesn't say who, dismissed McCain's opposition to President Donald Trump's CIA nominee by saying it didn't matter because McCain is dying anyway. Boy, tasty people over there, classy people over there at the White House right now. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hey, a Hawaii volcano, the one you know that's been going on over in uh, the big island of Hawaii, is threatening to blow its top in the coming days or weeks after sputtering lava for a week, forcing 2,000 people to evacuate and destroying two dozen homes and threatening a, a geothermal plant. Our friend Renee Collins, who is a member of our citizens panel on a regular basis, lives on the big island. And while she's on the other side and is probably not affected directly by it, she is feeling the earthquakes that have been happening constantly and also the uh, smell of sulfur, I'm sure, in the air. Our best goes out to you, uh, Renee. Fox has canceled its comedy series, Brooklyn Nine. And Last Man on Earth, yet another program that they uh, canceled. And um, also a show called The Mick. Uh, I don't know if you've seen The Mick, but I liked it. I thought it was really funny. I used to get belly laughs out of it. It's very hard to laugh at something really hard when there's nobody sitting next to you laughing with you. And when I was watching this thing alone, I would sit there and I would, uh, I would really, I would chortle, all right? Well, listen, let me show you a picture of somebody here. No, there's, talk about well, that's fine. not you what I want, folks. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want the picture first. Here we go. Oh, boy. It's one of those days, folks. This is about the fourth time I've tried all of this, uh, so I wouldn't uh, have a fucked up version of it. But here we go. Hey, hey look at this guy. Uh, why is it, doesn't he look like, uh, what was that guy's I can't remember the character's name on Breaking Bad, who was the big drug lord. He really does. But uh, yeah, how, how old do you think this guy is? I'll tell you in a second. I'll give you a hint. He's Malaysia's newest prime minister. They just elected him the newest prime minister. So he's got to be fairly young, right? Well, he's been 37 years since he first had the job. He was the, uh, he was, uh, the prime minister before and 15 years since he retired from it. Now I'll give you another hint. Uh, he was born when silent films still packed movie theaters. Adolf Hitler was still a fringe politician. Uh, and his homeland was known as British Malaya. Okay, how old do you think he is? Well, look at him. 
He was born in 1926, and he is 92 years old. Yes. Uh, and his uh, name is Mahathir. And, uh, in fact, Mahathir Mohammed. And uh, he has said about his age, I am, of course, quite old. No, I'm very old. But I can still function. <laughs> yes, he can still function. Good for you. He's 92 years old. I hope, he, I hope he's a nice prime minister and not one of those evil kind of prime ministers that show up. Well, the thing that was starting earlier was my clip for tonight from last night with the citizen panel. It got a little heated. We were talking about uh, immigration, Mexican immigration, and we had a guy on by the name of S.G., and he was a little heated about this, so heated that somebody, in fact, you will see, hung up on the panel because he just couldn't take it. No, you there's, talk about decline. You can talk about decline all you want, but when you have sexual assault and you're talking about over 3,300 convictions, over two uh, 7,000 people who have been arrested, you can talk about decline. And all of these, decline. all of you know these... What? You can prove stats. You can prove anything you want. SJ, listen to me. But I have actual convictions where families are impacted and there's crimes being committed. This used to be my show. No, all I'm saying, SG, is are these all Hispanics? It says immigrants, right? Immigrants. What kind of immigrants? Criminal aliens. No, uh oh. Ray Ray had to go. Ray could not take it, and I agree with him. You know. Well, of course, I, I shut him down. Criminal. Uh, Wait a minute. Texas hold on a second. All right, alien, all right, all right. Texas SG. Okay. criminal alien okay. arrest. Okay, okay. we heard you. Texas SG, Department we heard Safety. you. We heard you. Ray, call back. What? Anyway, that was what went on last night. Quite a, quite a bust up, as it were. By the way, you see an address down there? That's an email. That's a, uh, a browser address. Here, here's what you do. Uh, we're on every night at 10 o'clock. Well, every night, uh, Tuesday through Friday. I always say every night. It seems like every night to me. Tuesday through Thursdays at 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And if you go to that address, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live, uh, what you will get is a page that has a, uh, a player on it, and it has a countdown to the next show. Now, you can tab that and put it on your browser permanently, and if you have it there, fine. And then at 10 o'clock at night, Eastern Daylight Time, go over to that page. It automatically starts. You don't have to do anything, and as long as you have it tabbed on your browser, it's there all the time. You can also find the show posted on Facebook. Uh, right after the show is over with, also on YouTube, also on Rocks, uh, Romeo, Vimeo, blah, Vimeo, oh boy, I'm in bad shape today, Vimeo, and you can also uh, find us, of course, on our Roku channel. So that's, so that's the various ways in which you can find us. Uh, have a happy weekend, everybody. We'll see you, uh, well, I guess we'll do this again on either Monday or Tuesday. I haven't decided yet, but uh, this has been News Break from GabNet.